Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to show you a way how you can identify trends before they find their way onto print-on-demand websites or just another way to identify good keywords or to identify niches and a way to give you some inspiration for new, you know, new designs really um, based on some facts and based on some data, which is very important. So what you can use is Google Trends. I don't know if you've used it before. I certainly haven't before I um, started my print on demand business a few months ago, but it is something which I think is very useful. So what it gives you, it gives you um, in a certain time period, it gives you the trending search terms, the, the things people actually look or search on Google. So they look at the terms and how often people type them or put them into the search bar. And then, um, yeah, they give you the priorities. So for example, as you can see here, obviously, well, this one here is, is certainly trending without any surprise. But then if you scroll down, they give you the recently trending ones. Apparently Golden Globes is trending like nothing. Um, and you can also go back in years, which might be interesting if you, but obviously we, if you're doing print on demand, we want to look at what's trending currently. So what you can do is you can go here and then you can see these are the ones which are currently trending and it gives you some ideas but what you can actually do on second is you can type in here you know if you've got a for example if you've got a certain niche that you like to design um, or create designs in for example let's say the gaming niche then you can understand related keywords and you can see how it's actually doing compared to the past so let's type in gaming shirt and you want to put shirt behind it because if people search for it on google they would you know if i want a gaming shirt i i look for gaming search a gaming shirt on google i wouldn't just put in gaming so you can obviously select the time period here so let's see from 2004 how this is developed so apparently there was a peak in 2004 and then it sort of dropped and it's increasing again. And there was a peak here in November, 2020, which is probably before Christmas without surprise. And then it went down again in January. But it, as you can see, it's something which is sort of trending at the moment. Um, I mean, apparently because there was this peak here in 2004, it doesn't show a massive increase. Um, but I guess if this massive peak hadn't been there, you would see it going up more. Um, another thing, I think another popular one is, I think, pizza shirt. So as you can see here, yeah, that's a clear one. So as you can probably know from on Redbubble or the likes of Redbubble, you can see a lot of pizza shirts. And I don't know particularly why it's trending, but it is just trending apparently since like 2012. Um, but then you can see here, and this is quite interesting. You can actually see where people are from who look for it, who search for it. Um, but obviously at the moment I've selected United States, so you can select worldwide. It's a different, it's a similar picture. And you can see from which countries people come who, who look for this, um, who search for this term. And then you can see the related topics, but very importantly also related queries. So you can actually see, or you get a better understanding why it's trending. So it seems to be related to Pizza Hut. So related queries are Pizza Hut shirt, Pizza Hut, Pizza shirts, and this also gives you a good idea because these are the you know related keywords or yeah keywords which which are really related and this gives you a good idea of, of keywords that you can use in your um well when you post your design on, on you know on your print on demand website so obviously you can't put pizza hut because that would potentially be a bit concerning with regards to copyright or trademark but you can put pizza shirts this is obviously a good one um, I think Pizza Planet is copyright as well, or trademark. But this one is important or interesting. Pizza Cat, for example. So you can click on it and then you could see or could, could have a look at how this is actually doing. Um, you can see Domino's Cat Pizza Shirt again. And it, it seems because you've got Pizza and Cat here twice, I think Pizza and Cat might be a, a good niche to go into. Um, might be something to explore. Because there's a lot of pizza shirts, there's a lot of pizza and gaming shirts, I think. I haven't seen a lot of pizza and cat shirts, but this seems to be something which people are looking for at the moment. And I think if it says breakout here, it, it is something people have started to look for recently. And um, th this is very interesting. 
So then you've got um, Pizza Express. Yeah, this is all trademark. Pizza Time shirt. It might be something for, for you as well to consider. A niche. Well, now it's Pizza Time. Um, New York Pizza. That might be trademark. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure if I would put this one in here. Um, but Pizza My Heart shirt. So it gives you some good ideas. And obviously, it's not only pizza. You can, you can put some other stuff in. You can even compare it and see how it's doing against um, compared to other ones. So I, I don't know what it's ha what happens now, but if I put in pizza gaming shirt, uh, it doesn't have enough data, I think. So we could compare gaming shirt to pizza shirt. And it might give you a good idea. Well, would you rather look at gaming or would you rather look at pizza? Apparently, as you can see here, there's many more searches for pizza than for gaming. Now, obviously you need to take a look at how many designs are already online on, let's say, Redbubble for pizza shirts and how many are online for gaming shirts, just to give you an idea of the competition as well. But as you can see, I think it's quite a useful tool. I use it mainly to get some inspiration and to get some interesting keywords just to, to see what people might actually type in. Um, it's useful if you're in a niche, you're not really sure about the keywords and then, yeah, you can, you can put some good keywords and we can also try fishing shirt. And apparently, yeah, this is quite similar. So pizza and fishing shirt. And again, here you go into the related query. So it might be worth going into bass fishing instead of just fishing, because as you know, fishing is quite a wide niche. But as you can see here from the related queries, people seem to be looking for bass fishing shirt as well. So if you create a design rather than fishing shirt or I love fishing, you can say something about bass fishing. It might be, um, it's a smaller niche, so it will give you potentially a better chance to sell something. So this is normally what I do. It's just one way of doing it um, and certainly, certainly useful. So this is just what I wanted to show you today. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this um, way of doing it. If you like the video, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please um, subscribe to the channel. I try to publish a video every day to share my learnings, successes and mistakes. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.